Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Pikes Peak Signature event, checking in 2654R. This is Reboot and a phenomenal machine that they're bringing here at Pikes Peak event. Really the star of this one, it's got to be their F-tier hang that they bring. This is so cool, we'll be diving into that. But a lot of our great things have a great build we'll be talking about too. Be going into their uh, intake that they have, seven motor drive, some of the side rollers as well, and just a really complete machine. They have two excellence awards, a Champions Award and a Design Award coming to this event. So let's learn more about them coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Matt, let's start off on that bottom up. We're going to talk about the seven motor drive. Uh, so let's detail what you have. Why did you choose to go that route and any big iterations throughout the season that you made changes to? So. First, we have our seven motor drive. It is 450 RPM. We have four wheels on each, each side, um, six motors on the bottom here, um, and then we have a polycarb um, piece here to hold the 5.5 watt, and then we gear it down uh, to the drive from there. Um, so it's really quick in acceleration. So looking at your center of gravity on this uh, with that seven motor drive, are you driving from the front or the back? Where's that center of gravity line? Do you have anything to help you get over that barrier? So we have two pairs of sleds in the front here and the back. This helps us get started over the barrier so we can go over forward and backwards. Uh, and in this game, that is very important with how fast moving it is. Yeah, and your robot's been very fast on the field as well, too, so we can't wait to see more of that happen. But let's move on to your intake and talk more about that. Charlie's going to cover that. Uh, Charlie, you know I love wide intakes on robots as well. I think you got a great robust one here, so break down what you have so far. All right, so one of the main things we wanted to incorporate on this intake was having it very uh, large and stick out, but also have the tribal very secure inside the intake and not being able to be stolen. So we do that in two ways. One way is with these um, flexible prongs on oh, the yeah. bottom. So it makes it really easy for the tribal. Yeah, you do want to run it. It makes it really easy for the tribal to be sucked up in. But then, um, if this is lifted up, it kind of holds the tribal up um, and makes it so it can't fall out. Uh, another thing we have is do you want to is these uh, flexible uh, or like one-way kind of. I don't know what you'd call them, but like little levers. Uh, that can't be pushed back up, so then the tribal can't go out the top of our intake as well. So it acts as its own hard stop, and then one way, if you need it, it, it goes does, that way. Yeah. That's pretty cool. When uh, those those forks we have, I've seen a couple of different things between like rubber bands, zip ties, that sort of thing. I haven't quite seen like a metal fork. So when did you come up with that? Uh, so we just we've seen like those before, but we've those have still like had tribals pop out of them. Yeah. We just wanted like the tribal to be really secure because every tribal matters in this game, especially with the low in, lower scoring games and the quick cycles now. So. We just wanted to make sure that we would not lose the tribal. One of the things I think every robot should be having is some sort of a mechanism or device to make sure you're riding the wall well. And I like the wall riders that you have. So talking about your config that you have for that. Um, and one thing I got to ask you, I noticed that you have um, some smaller ones here, but some larger ones here as well. Is there any reason uh, for going that route? Yeah, totally. So um, the wall riders kind of uh, help us kind of get make sure that we don't get any of our polycarb stuck on the wall when going through the channel. Um, we want to make sure that we can go through as quick as possible for cycles. And so these make us just glide off the wall. Uh, we have smaller ones back here just for the spacing of the wings. Um, but we also have these on our intake as well. So basically any orientation we go in, these are always the first point of contact. Sure and that nothing else can get stuck or bumped. And Henry, let's talk about the F-tier hang uh, that you have as well too. We gotta deploy that up. I gotta see how this works and I can't wait to see it on the field as well too. But talking about, uh, of course, not only what you have, but like from a priority standpoint, usually when you go up that high, you have to give something up in return too. Did you have to make any sacrifices for that? Uh, yeah, actually um, we did have to um, not have a shooter 
Uh, but we were already messing around with ideas to also incorporate a shooter. We just didn't have time due to the tight turnaround from the new game manual release of sure. removing the elevation caps. Um, but besides that, no real sacrifices were made. Matt, if you want to go ahead and put it up. Uh, so this is our F-tier hang. What you just saw there, we have this little uh, lever on a piston uh, that just releases it upwards and then it's all just banded upwards. Uh, from there, what we can do is we have these uh, standoffs here that kind of act as guides to get onto the pole. And once it's in the pole, we just drive up. This bends backwards and this screw then hooks in to the top of the pole. From there, so basically what we have down here is this PTO and it shifts over onto our seven motor drive. And this seven motor drive is then connected to a winch, which comes all the way back up to our hang. And what happens um, is that the drive will then um, come on in and it pulls us down. So then we are then lifted up and then to ensure that we stay there at the end of the match, we have these ratchets down here. They're slightly hard to see, but right here that makes sure that the gear can only spin one direction. One more uh, key aspect to it, it pulls us down. So then we are then lifted up. And then to ensure that we stay there at the end of the match, we have these ratchets down here. They're slightly hard to see, but right here that makes sure that the gear can only spin one direction. One more uh, key aspect to it, and the other cool part of this lift is that we actually also have a horizontal seat here with it. So uh, um, we can put it into a different configuration at the start of the match, depending on what our alliance partner can do and what the opposing alliance can do. And what we have are these little um, standoffs that then are rubber banded and flipped down. And this just kind of acts as your more standard uh, C tier that then rides up onto the horizontal pole and then is then again pulled down by the winch. So this allows us to kind of uh, hang in multiple ways, which we found is important in order to work with any alliance well. Do you have to choose that prior to the match starting or are you able to do that on the fly? Uh, yes, we do have to currently choose that before the match starts. But uh, with some modifications, I think we could be able to do it um, during a match as well. Well, Reboot, looking for big things at this uh, event here at Pikes Peak, so can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot for taking the time. Tell us more about your machine and your team, and good luck here at the Pikes Peak Signature event. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.